Hello everybody, this is Dragonzilla1991 here, and if you're a monster fan like me, then you'll know that 2024 is a big year for all monster enthusiasts across the world. Because for starters, it will be Godzilla's 70th anniversary in November, and in the Chinese calendar, 2024 is the year of the dragon. So for today's slash tonight's review, I will be looking at Papo's Chinese dragon, aka Dragon of the Rising Sun, as they have called him. But I'm still going to refer to him as Chinese dragon, or Eastern Dragon. Now what is the Chinese Dragon? Well this mythical reptile from Chinese folklore is the complete polar opposite to its western cousin. Where the western dragon is destructive and is a destroyer of kingdoms, making it the European equivalent to Godzilla, the Eastern Dragon is malevolent and it is said to bring good luck. And if the country is going through great drought, then this dragon will make the rains fall, giving new life to the crops. Figure itself, and Papa have given this dragon quite an interesting design. As you can see, he looks naturalistic, where Safaris has a monstrous look, well at least in its appearance. I find that quite interesting because Safaris dinosaurs, as well as their prehistoric animal models, are scientifically accurate, and their mythical creatures seem to have a movie style to their designs. But with Papo, it appears to be the complete polar opposite, slash other way around, well at least sometimes. However, the eyes do appear to be animated, and the rest of the facial features look mammalian. That's another thing that sets Eastern Dragons apart from their European cousins, is that while they're still reptilian, they are also mixtures of certain animals. Those being the deer, the tiger, the serpent and the fish, at least from what I've heard. His legs are flat, where the promo model showed them to be raised up slightly. Also, the promo image depicted the dragon to be a lighter colour. Speaking of which, his paint job on first sight seems to be brown, and he mostly is, but if you look closely, and squint your eyes. He does also appear to be green. It may not look like that on camera, but in the flesh he is. And his fire markings are appropriately red. He is in the classic Chinese dragon pose, which is majestic. He has deer antlers between his horns and ears, and where western dragons possess points at the end of their tails, the eastern dragon's tail has a fire-like formation. Another thing that makes Eastern Dragons stand out from their fire-breathing European cousins are the moustache-like whiskers. Here on the Papo figure they are sculpted, where on the Safari Chinese Dragon model the whiskers are sculpted outwards. So for media appearances, now I haven't seen too much from the Chinese Dragon, but I suspect it showed up for the odd anime. However, I have seen it in Dragon Wars, where it does battle with a colossal giant cobra-like serpent. I've forgotten the name of the beast, unfortunately. And it was also in the fictional documentary, Dragons of Fantasy Made Real, where it appeared as the forest dragon. And of course, there's the eastern dragon kaiju, Manda, the guardian of the lost continent of Mu, who debuted in Atragon, and would eventually a few years later cross over into the Godzilla series for Destroy All Monsters and would make other appearances from Godzilla Final Wars to Godzilla Singular Point. There will be some more that I've probably missed out, but you can just inform me in the comments. And now let's do some sizing. So here is the Papo Chinese Dragon with the Safari Limited Chinese Dragon, who was reviewed a very long time ago. Links to his review is in the description below. Here he is with the Mojo Welsh Dragon, who's also been covered last year in fact. The link to his review is in the description. Here he is with the Plastoid Green Western Dragon, that I certainly will talk about soon. Here he is with the two Basilisk figures from Papo and Safari, that I definitely plan to review someday in the future. The script's currently been written, but the picture's yet to be taken. So stay tuned for that till the time comes. And here he is with the Bandai Movie Monster Series 2004 Manda from Godzilla Final Wars. So final thoughts on the Papo Chinese Dragon, aka Dragon of the Rising Sun. I absolutely adore this dragon model. Well, at least this version, because there's another one, but it's only a repaint. Which is red and he comes with a saddle. Yeah, not really my cup of tea. So I think I'll be sticking with the original, which is far more superior. And do I prefer him over the Safari figure? No, I think they're both great and both perfect, especially if you're a huge fan of Eastern Dragons. This is Dragonzilla1991 signing out. Take care and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.